Life hack number four in feng shui is wealth, prosperity, and self-worth. And consciously, this life area is expressed in the kitchen because the kitchen represents wealth for two reasons. It is, you know, one, it is the most expensive room to build when you're building a home because it has the cabinetry, the counters, a special floor, and sometimes special wall, you know, like tiles and things. And so it is a very expensive room to build, but also because the kitchen stores food. You know, you have the refrigerator to store food, you have cabinets where you store food. And in, a, in really nice homes, you have a pantry. It's really good to have a pantry for feng shui purposes because you can accumulate more food. So the kitchen is the expression for this life area. Now, colors to avoid in the kitchen would be red, orange, and yellow. Excess, you know, you can have accents, but excess of these colors is gonna make you want to eat too many sweet, fatty things and uh, eat them fast and eat a lot of it. That is why these are the colors that they use in junk food restaurants. So you wanna avoid that. Now, if you ever visited a Panera or an Earth First store or a Whole Foods store, um, those are the kinds of colors you want in your kitchen. You want to have a mood of thriving nature and growth in your kitchen. I recommend that you have at least one light plant that is edible. So if it's a little bitty plant with some cilantro or a tomato plant, whatever you can bring into the kitchen that grows, that's a live plant, it could be aloe vera, that's something that you can eat, you know, it has to be edible. That is gonna connect you to the abundance that you need to feel in, in order to grow your wealth. And it is also going to connect you with nature, which is really positive to do. Because the element of the kitchen is the wood element, think of it as a healthy tree or a healthy forest. The color green is very good for the kitchen. Life plants are really good for the kitchen. Images of trees or forests are really good for the kitchen. You want to avoid an excess of white in the kitchen and gray. And you know, right now the trend is to repaint cabinets in white or gray. And that is not good for the kitchen because that brings in the metal element and metal cuts wood. So you want to avoid an excess of these colors. If you already remodel your kitchen and you have an all white kitchen or an all gray kitchen, you may need the help of a feng shui consultant like me. And you could get this help either by hiring me or by joining one of my courses on my training site. If you don't have huge problems in the kitchen, this is a book that's gonna teach you a lot about what to do in the kitchen. There's a chapter devoted to wealth in the kitchen. And uh, if you like stories, you can also get this book, Room by Room, Function Secrets for a Happy Life.